Hey there, Freedom, and welcome to your broadcast for the week of April 11th, 2022. I'm Zach Schaefer, here with... Uh, Ben Lee. So, Ben, I see you have a copy of the latest issue of the Freedom Forum. Yes, I do, Zach. Did you see my article about the newly implemented Smart Pass? Yeah, and I, I don't understand it, but you know what? We're already graduating anyway. Yeah, it so. is very interesting, Zach. Thank you. Yeah, um, did you see mine about the Super Bowl halftime show? You did an article? Yes, I did an article, Ben. It's literally right. Where is it? Oh, what I what I meant right to say was I was very entertained by it, Zach. You're very knowledgeable about music from the '90s. Why, thank you, Ben. So, Freedom, we want to hear your voices too. If you're interested in do- joining the the Freedom Forum to write for the paper or help make these broadcasts, especially for next school year, since we're not going to be here. Please see Miss Marmaros in room 602. We're looking for not only writers, but anyone who is interested in editing, graphic design, video, website editing, podcasting, social media management, and more. There will be meetings coming up after the spring break, so stay tuned for more information. Now let's dive into some important information for this week. First of all, school is closed for spring break this Thursday, Friday, and next Monday. Also, attention students, show your appreciation for your teachers for Teacher Appreciation Week during all lunches outside of Cafeteria Right between April 11th to 22nd. You will be able to fill out a short note to show your gratitude for your teachers. Getting a note would absolutely make their day, so make sure to stop by and fill some out for free. Senior class speaker candidates, your initial speech is due to Miss Sage in the main office by Tuesday, April 12th at 12 noon. Graduation is a huge honor. So please, turn them in on time. Absolutely, Zachary. Actually, yeah, I would love to see people speak at graduation. Yeah, Just turn too. it in on time, you'll be good. Yeah, me too. Uh, open gyms for Freedom High School cheerleading will start on Tuesday, April 19th at 2.45. Follow at Freedom Cheer FHS on Twitter or contact Coach Bish Amber for more details. The Combating Crohn's and Colitis Club is currently accepting members. These diseases inflame the lining of the GI tract and disrupt your body's ability to digest and absorb food. They are lifelong diseases that impact almost 80,000 children in the U.S. You heard that right, 80,000. The exact cause of these diseases are unknown, and so there's no cure. So it is important to raise money for research. The club will plan fundraisers and events to raise money for CHOP and the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Please contact one of the two emails on your screen to sign up. Voting for the FAME, or FAME, contest will begin on April 19th. Voting will be every Tuesday and Thursday on the Marketing Music Fest Instagram account at FHS underscore at the Fest. That is at FHS underscore at the Fest. A voting poll will be on the Instagram story starting at 2 p.m. Make sure you follow their Instagram and vote for who you want to see perform at Music Fest. So Ben, you know who's at uh, Marketing Music Fest? Have you ever stopped by that class before? No, I haven't actually. Yeah, I'm actually pretty good friends with the majority of them. So oh, shout really? out to uh, shout out to you guys who are in the marketing music fest class. You guys are great. So on another note, be sure to stop down to the cafe this week to try this month's LTO, the Moroccan Harissa chicken wrap, as a mm. grab and go sandwich. Also, be sure to come down to an Atomic Grilled Cheese sandwich to celebrate National Grilled Cheese Day, which is on Tuesday, April 12th. Wow, Zach! I've never had an atomic grilled cheese. Yeah, sandwich I, I just that read that. I, I heard absolutely about absolutely amazing. I heard about that and I was like, "Wait, yeah, I know, <laughs> crazy." <laughs> like, that, that sounds so good. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, are you looking to go to prom? If so, you can get your tickets at all lunches up until the week of prom. Tickets are eighty-five dollars. If you are bringing a guest from outside of Freedom, you must pick up a guest permission form and have it filled out before buying tickets. Also, you must pay your class dues and your dates class dues if they do go to Freedom in order to be allowed to buy tickets. So Ben, since April of 1987, the National Council on Alcohol and Drug Dependence has sponsored Alcohol Awareness Month to increase public awareness and understanding, reduce stigma, and encourage local communities to focus on alcoholism and alcohol-related issues. Stay tuned for more information from the Freedom High School Students Against Destructive Decisions about ways you can get involved this month. So the Day of Silence is April 22nd, and you can sign up to participate at lunches starting this week. My buddy Ben here went to go check out all that jazz, so let's go watch that. Hey, what's up, Freedom High School? I'm here today with the Gender and Sexuality Alliance, and they're here today to talk to me about the Day of Silence that's coming up. So, uh, what is the Day of Silence? The Day of Silence is a day to symbolically represent um, the effects of bullying and harassment 
um, on LGBTQ plus people. Um, it's a day where any student who chooses to sign up takes a day-long vow of silence to represent them, who have been to, to represent those who have been silenced because of their gender or sexuality. That's honestly amazing. And um, how did the Day of Silence start? Uh, the Day of Silence was created by an organization called Glesen, G L G L E S N, and you can find more information about it on their website. And if somebody wants to participate in the Day of Silence at Freedom, uh, what, what should they do? The GSA will have a table in front of the um, cafeteria during lunch, so you can come by and sign up. Easy as that. All right, that sounds great. Thank you so much. Back to you in the studio. So, a Day of Silence. Hmm. Personally, I personally can't do that because you know me. I can never shut that up. Yeah, I, I can agree with that, Zach. <laughs> I can't shut up either. I just love to talk. That's yeah. why we're so great I, I'm pretty sure people will lo love for us to shut up, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Uh, today, Chess Club meets in 212, Yoga Club in 220, and ASL Club in room 133. On Tuesday, the Gender and Sexuality Alliance meets in room 205, Pen and Ink in 603, Feet in 143, or the Freedom Environmental Team, Spanish Club in 133, Anime in 208, and the Bowling Club meets at Town and Country Lanes from 3 to 5 p.m. On Wednesday, before school, the student government meets in 105 at 7 a.m. The debate team meets in room 602. Travel club meets after school in room 226. The Asian American Alliance in room 210. Avidum in the library and the robotics team in room 303. Freedom's Black Excellence and Joy Club will not be meeting on Thursday, April 14th due to school being closed for spring break. Remember that club meetings are Thursdays at 235 in the library. Hope to see you on the 21st. There are no other clubs on Thursday due to spring break, of course. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, let's go to Jada and Aaron with the sports update. Thanks, guys. Let's check in on the scores from last week. Today, boys tennis will play at Northampton at 3.30, baseball will play Easton at home at 4, softball will also be home against Easton at 4, boys lacrosse will play away at Crestwood at 5.30, and track and field will meet at home against Nazareth at 3.30. On Tuesday, girls lacrosse will travel to Becca to play at 4, while the boys play Becca at home at 4, softball will play at home versus Southern Lehigh at 4, and boys volleyball will play at home against Nazareth at 5. On Wednesday, boys tennis will play at home against East Stroudsburg South at 3.30, Baseball will play at home against Northampton at 4, softball will be away at Liberty at 4, and boys volleyball will play away at Parkland at 6. On Thursday, softball will play at home against Parkland at 4, boys lacrosse will play away at Saucon Valley at 4, and the girls play Saucon at home at 7. Track and field will meet at home against Allentown Central Catholic at 2.30, and boys volleyball will play at home against Liberty at 5. There are no games on Friday or Saturday. Have a great break. Back to you, Ben and Zach. Thanks, Aaron and Jada. That's a lot of games this week. I sure hope our student body is there to show their support. Yeah, and I hope he goes too, because I'm going to a baseball game and he told me he was coming. So anyway, Ben, I heard that Jada interviewed a few people about March Madness, so here's what people had to say about that. Hey, what's up, Freedom? We're here outside the gym, and we were just going to talk to some people and see what they thought of March Madness. So let's check it out. All right, I'm here with Cromier and Justin, so who do you guys think was going to win? Uh, Kansas. North Carolina. Oh, so you were disappointed then? Yeah, very. Were you surprised by any teams in the March Madness at all? Uh, his team a little bit, but you know we had a dog up. No. <laughs> but, yeah. I was surprised by how terrible our defense was. Yup. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for your answers, guys. Yep. All right, I'm here with Andreas here. So what did you think of March Madness? Uh, I'm glad UNC lost. I had a bet for Kansas. Uh, let's go. <laughs> so you were glad that uh, Kansas won? Oh, yeah, of course. My coach is rooting for UNC, so I had to root against them. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with Alyssa and Jeremiah, and who did you guys expect to win in March Madness? I expected Kansas to win. Kansas. So you guys weren't disappointed then. Nope. Congrats to you guys. Nope. Thanks, Jada, for that wonderful segment. Anyway, Freedom, that's just about wraps it up for this week. And just so you know, there are 32 days left for seniors and 39 days for all underclassmen. Don't forget to fill out our idea form linked in the description below and email your questions if you have them. We are your hosts, Zach Schaefer. 
And Dudley. And we hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and a wonderful spring break, Freedom. Freedom.